the first thing I did was uh, look at what we call a D-log or a, uh, a, a printout of all the data from the spacecraft. We had brought up another uh, computing machine to just run what we call D-logs. into all the data and print it out once per second or once per minute, depending on the particular system uh, that we wanted to look, the granularity, we want to look at the data. And, um, and then, of course, the system I wanted to look at as soon as possible was the cryogenic system parameters. And I was remember looking through the, because I still, remember, we, none of us had ever seen the pressure go up in O2 tank 2. Because we were looking over here, and it was happening over here. So by the time we looked back, there was no data there. It was just uh, the, uh, the, uh, the readout of the parameters was as if the uh, transducer or the, uh, uh, the gauge was broken. And it was. It was not there anymore. Um, the, uh, the pressure in the tank had gotten over 1,000 PSI and blown the top of it off. As you probably know by this time, <coughs> a sheet of hot gas flame went up, uh, knocked the top of the uh, tank off, and hit the upper shelf where the fuel cells were, and, and uh, blasted onto the fuel cells and, knocked and, and blew the, uh, that particular uh, service module segment out into space, which is a good thing it did that. Um, and um, if that, by the way, as an aside, if that panel on the service module had blown when it did, there was a good possibility that the pressure could have built up in, let me, sh if I can show you this, the pressure could have built up in between the command module and service module that were held together with three frangible struts, or tension ties, we call them. And that, the force of that explosion could have accumulated pressure in here and broken the three tension ties so the command module would have been hanging like this by its umbilical. That would have really been bad. Now the, it's really exposed to deep space, the, uh, the, the FT shield. Fortunately, it didn't happen. 